Okay. Now, growing any citrus, any kind of citrus, lemon, lime, orange, uh, it's pretty much the same thing on all of them. Okay, you'll want to cut open the fruit. Okay, you're going to want to use a strainer to get the seeds out. Uh, you want to keep the juice. I'm just doing this for demonstration, so I'm, I'm not going to keep the juice. You'll want to wash off as much of the citrus juice as possible because the, the citrus juice itself might stop the seeds from growing. How many seeds we got? One, two, three. <laughs> we got five. Okay. Now what I like to do with the seeds is uh they have an outer layer, uh, a coat, it's a clear coat. Uh, you can take that off. It makes them grow faster. And it'll remove all the stitches. So I don't have no juice at all left. You carefully peel it. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. You don't want your seeds to dry out because citrus seeds do not like to dry out. Uh, limes, lemons, grapefruit, orange, they're all the same. They all have a clear outer coating. Um, coat. Just go ahead and remove that little coating. I don't know. Sometimes even brown color uh, after you remove that outer layer. Now orange trees um, produce a plant that also has male and female parts, so you don't have to have more than one orange tree before you for you to get fruit. Now it, these are store bought oranges. So they've already been through the their cold duration when they were traveling here in the, the delivery truck. So you don't have to put them in the cold. Uh, actually, it'll delay how how long it takes for them to, to grow if you put them in the fridge. So what I like to do, and the fastest way I found, is to get a napkin. You kind of put your seeds on there, fold them in there, so they don't fall out. Okay. And 
in it. Get the napkin wet. Get out any excess liquid. You don't want it dripping wet. You just want it damp. And you put your orange seeds in a baggie. You put them in a baggie. I label it. It's what it is. And the date. That way I know what's growing in here. Uh, simply because I have so many other seeds growing at once. So orange and say six. These are my other orange, peach, apricot, uh, mango, very other, lots and lots of seeds. I put it on the pet hangers right here next to this window. It helps stimulate their growth. Now plant trees, mine, my oranges, lemons have all grown approximately two weeks after I've, uh, sometimes even one week after I've remove that coat from them. And let me show you an example of one I've done recently. Okay, this is my lemon that I've done. This is plant, uh, placed in this baggie on the 8th. So they've been growing for about a week. And you can see the roots already growing on this one. That particular lemon gave me 10 seeds, and 8 out of the 10 were long enough of a root for me to go ahead and plant outside already. You see? It's hard to see it. But the roots are already growing on these two as well. They're just not long enough for me to plant. I, you'll want a nice long root to make sure that the plant uh, go ahead and grow. This orange I bagged on the 5th. Mm -hmm. I planted some of those already. Here's the other one. Uh, that one's already rooting as well. They're just not long enough. You see they're starting to turn a little darker. Sometimes they even go green. I date them. That way I know how long they've been in there. Because sometimes you'll get dust. And I label them because I have a lot of seeds growing right now. So all citruses are the same. Very little variation. Let's see, I just hang it up there on my pet hanger. Let the sun hit it. Temperature in here. Be around. It's not very hot, not very cold, a good temperature, uh, but outside it's like a hundred and something, sometimes even a 90, so it, the plant might go into shock when, if you take it from the inside to the outside, so that's why as soon as they start to root, I put them outside, that way they don't grow in here and get adjusted to this temperature and then you take them out there later and they're like, shock. <laughs> Okay, once the seeds have sprouted a long enough root that you feel comfortable planting them, go ahead and, if you're going to put them outside, go ahead and put them outside then. Because if not, they won't, they don't like to adapt. This is an orange tree I've had growing for about a month now. Uh, a month after the root shows. That in itself takes almost a few weeks. An orange tree. I had uh, several lime trees that I've already given away. Uh, this one started to die. As you can see, it's coming back, so don't give up hope on it just because the leaves fall off. Sometimes they just don't respond well. Just temperature change. This one I had inside, that's why it, I suggest uh, bringing them outside as soon as they root instead of waiting them for them to sprout. To adapt from the inside temperature to the outside temperature is a bit of a change. This is a Red Delicious Apple. Um, essentially, I did the same thing, except I didn't remove any any shell. That's the only difference. I took it out of the fruit, rinsed it, wrapped it in a napkin. This one, I had to wait a month. I tried putting the seeds in the fridge, because a lot of websites had recommended putting them in the cold first. But 
if you're just going to plant them uh, from the store, those those particular uh, fruits have already been in cold storage. That one's starting to sprout now. So you don't have to cold germinate anything that you buy at the store. Only if you uh, have an apple tree at home and you want to grow them from there. That's when you have to do that. I have a lot of do-it-yourself <laughs> pots and a few I've bought. And, uh, make sure you put holes on the bottom. Lemon trees, any citrus fruit really does not like to sit in water. It will die if you let it sit in water. That is very, very important. Okay, this lemon tree has been growing for about two months. It's still fairly tiny, but it's doing fairly well considering it gets pretty much about uh, triple digit weather here. Uh, 110 is the hottest we've had so far this, this summer. Summer technically hasn't even started, but that's West Texas for you. So, that's about two months old. Doing fairly well in this environment. Uh, the only thing it does not like is cold. So once the uh, winter sets, if you live in an area that frosts easily, you might want to have to cover them. Any of your trees. 